at War Part 2. Uh, this uh, book is written by Jeff Johns. The artwork is by the great Jason Fabic. So basically, you know, this review is going to be full of, you know, first of all, I usually give like kind of like a summary and it's going to be also, it's going to have, you know, a lot of spoilers. So basically the book starts with Luther and Superman have, you know, arrived on Apocalypse. Uh, Darkseid is aware of their presence on Apocalypse. Steppenwolf and, um, you know, this other villain, they... You know, once I like, you know, kill Superman, they call him the Kryptonian. Uh, Darkseid tells them that he doesn't want him just dead and that he's not a god, that he wants his soul. He tells them to, you know, open the, the, the gates to the camps of the slaves and apocalypse and have them attack, you know, Superman and whoever can actually kill him, you know, will be spared any further servitude. Um, you know, we also get to see that Darkseid is aware that the Anti Monitor has arrived on Earth and he tells Steppenwolf. And the other villain to um, amass his armies as they're going to go to war. Um, they are also aware of Darkseid's daughter that he had with Marina Black, which is which is the Amazon, which was revealed in issue number forty-one, and also in the Free Comic Book Day uh, comic. So basically, after that, uh, the next scene we're on Earth. The Anti Monitor has arrived. The Justice League has pretty much been taken down. They're all like defeated on all over the floor. Uh, Wonder Woman is about to attack um, the anti-god. He smashes into the earth and, you know, he uses his power. You know, she's surprised by his power. And she basically asks him who you are. He doesn't really reveal it. He just says, I am desperate. Um, you know, we see a boom, a big, a huge boom. A metron of the new gods appears. And, you know, he pretty much knows that there's a game being played. And he tells that to the anti monitor, and he basically he booms like the Justice League out of there. And you know, Darkseid's daughter, who obviously is in league with the anti monitor, tells him that they're gonna have their war, and that she will have the Justice League's heads, and she knows how to track them. Next scene, we see that there's like this uh, secluded place where Marina Black has uh, taken Mr. Miracle since he was being hunted hunted down by Kanto and Lashina, who were looking for him, and also for Marina Black. She's obviously not afraid, as she's an Amazon. Um, she tries to recruit recruit uh, Mr. Miracle to her cause, as she's, starting, she's trying to start a war to finally end Darkseid for good by using the anti-monitor strength and powers, um, you know, to defeat him. And, you know, uh, and, his, and her daughter is also in league with that. So basically, Mr. Miracle disagrees as he says, you know, billions of people will die on Earth. Um, point being, Marina Black tries to kill him and Mr. Miracle booms out of there. Next scene, you know, we see where Metron actually took the Justice League after they used the boom tube uh, to escape uh, from the Anti-Monitor. He took them to the Rock of Eternity as that is a place where they won't have any access to them. We also find out that this storyline takes place after the New God storyline of Green Lantern, as when Wonder Woman asks how Jordan, if, if he knows who Metron is, he mentions what briefly happened in that war and that he's not to be trusted. Uh, Wonder Woman tries to use her lasso on Metron and, you know, basically how Jordan tells her, you know, it's not going to work because, you know, the chair is the one that has the the powers and knows all the truth of what's going to happen but she still ma and she still manages to take him out of the chair and as that happens the chair becomes unstable it's what's actually called the mobius chair and as that is happening you know batman he reaches out to it how jordan tells him to wait batman goes and he actually sits on the chair and as he sits on the chair um, you know, he starts having all these flashes of all these truths of, you know, you see, um, you see Apocalypse, you see a Superwoman from Earth 3 in her jail cell, you see Darkseid's daughter, um, and he starts, you know, asking brief questions to know if the chair is able to tell the truth about everything, and when the, the Justice League asks him, are you okay, especially Wonder Woman, he says, of course I am, and the issue ends with Batman on Metron's Mobius chair saying I am a god now so basically this issue the story did progress a lot I thought it was absolutely fabulous the artwork is incredible just for the artwork is super I give it four stars out of four stars I highly recommend it uh, this storyline each issue it keeps progressing rapidly 
and it's gonna be huge it's definitely epic I really recommend it four stars out of four stars